everybody. Um, I just want to do something. You are a fast bike rider. You want to show them do you, you do the ramps? Okay, um, yeah. go do it. Go show everybody you do the ramps. Ready? Count down. Three, two, one. Go! Whoa, goosey. Maverick, you're doing so good, buddy. Is that fun? yeah well welcome back to the channel everybody thank you guys for clicking on the video if you guys are new here go down hit that like button subscribe follow along on this uh journey that we're on today we are going to be building a goat hay feeder but this could be this could work for horse cows honestly any animal i guess that eats hay one of you guys actually sent us the idea for this uh, for this hay feeder and so we're gonna try and make it work with the materials that we have We're using old candle panels and we're gonna be building. Yeah, look they're all in there We are going to be building a hay feeder So if y'all want to see how we do this stay tuned to the end of the video We'll show you guys the finished product how we're doing it and how it's gonna turn out What? Yeah, we do need to feed the chickens and we need to feed the goats Okay He loves feeding the animals, y'all. Loves it. So this is our pile, our scrap pile of old cattle panels and such. Uh, so I'm going to go through here, find the best looking one, and that's what we're going to use to uh, make this project. Okay, Mavi, you scoop out some feed and go throw it in there. That's enough. That's enough. Yep, that's perfect. Okay, throw it in there. You want to do it? No, you do it. Good job. Okay, let's put the lid on. Maverick, do you like doing the farm chores? Yeah. We always have to put the lid on, right? Yeah. Why? Because then we don't get no rain in there. That's right. You left the lid open? Over there. And what happened? It rained in the food and it went bad? Yeah. yeah. So you did good. You learned how to make the food to not go bad, huh? Yeah. I, I do the other one. Yeah. Do you want to go over there and feed those ones? Yeah, let's go feed those ones before we get started on our other project, okay? Okay. Okay. It's my turn. He says, it's my turn. <laughs> I don't think I could feed the animals if I wanted to because, well, he gets the priority, I guess. Although, this one's like halfway out of food, so I don't know if he can actually reach it. You want Daddy to get it? Here. Okay, there you go. Yeah, you can't reach that one, huh? Look, everybody's ready. Yeah, the fence is on. So this is mostly the ducks' food. We've got Waffles' food over there and the goats' food over in their goat pen. But we start here, everybody kind of eats it, and then as we go through, the pig will come follow us, and then the goats will come follow us, and then everybody will kind of eat their own share of food. This is... Uh, actually a chicken feed but it's just a 20 percent protein pellet so it's safe for all of the animals and it's high protein so it's it's completely safe for all of them but we then do have food specifically for each different type of animal in here man zan you're being a meanie so zan mr billy goat mean billy goat there uh he headbutted maverick two days ago and uh now Maverick doesn't really want to come in the pen over here, which is okay. I get it. Um, so I'm going to hurry and I will feed the rest of these animals. See? Poured Waffles food out. He gets water mixed in with his. And the ducks are kind of eating it. But he come over here and eat that. 
now let's go do the goats. Oh my gosh, hi babies. They are absolutely loving this big play area. You know, they're out there playing and doing all that kind of fun stuff. Okay. So I think later today, I'm actually going to be going and getting the linoleum for the floor in here. And uh, hopefully be getting that installed today, if not today, tomorrow. But I gotta make sure I'm gonna go down to Home Depot and uh, go get go get it picked up. Goats, where are you? I got your food. You guys, I just can't get over how stinking cute these babies are. Come here, Coda. Come here, Callie. So for those of you that may be new, the black one is Callie, short for California, and the white one is uh, Coda, short for Dakota. Yep, Callie and Coda. Come here, Kelly. Come here, Coda. I guess I should explain to you uh, what we're doing with this hay feeder. So this is our goat barn. Everything can come and go in here as they want, but this is more specifically for the goats. We've got their extra wood shavings and hay in here. Um, and come the winter, when we start really feeding hay, we need a way to feed it without just setting it on the ground. So I want to build a little hay feeder that is going to hook onto the side of this here. So I can just grab their hay, put it in here, and they can eat it right here inside when it's cold, when it's raining, and when we don't have much grass growing out in the pasture. So that's kind of the problem that we're solving. And I'm going to just kind of show you guys the way that I'm going to put it together based off of that picture that I've got. You guys decided to come and be friendly with me? Oh, hi. Hi, Coda. Starting to get your horns, aren't you? Yeah, you can actually see them sticking through your hair. Oh, <laughs> hi, Callie. You guys having a good time? You want to enjoy being a baby goat? You guys are the cutest little animals ever. All right, let's go through this scrap pile here. Some of this just needs to be uh, thrown into my recycling pile, like all of this. I'm gonna throw into the recycling. I'm thinking this, this one right here might be our winner, winner chicken dinner. Ah, it's a little bit, actually. Chicken dinner. Chicken dinner. So these are also way big holes. Um, I think if you were gonna do horses, this would be great, or cows, this would be great. With the goats, I think they'll just pull all of their hay out. Um, so we might have to do a little, a little work around with that. Oh, you know what? This one actually has some good on the ends there. And I kind of like this section right here. And then the bottom section right there. All right, we're using this channel. And the rest of this, I mean, so this is what we like to do. Reuse and recycle, right? There's no need to throw this away. Um, I am going to drag it over to the recycling pile, though, so that this area I can clean up. I can rake, get all this stuff out of here, get rid of it just kind of clean this area up. I've wanted to do that for a while. Um, and now that I'm going through this pile, I may as well do it now. So I think I'm going to do that um, a little bit later as soon as we get this project done. Okay, so I got my grinder. Well, this is a cutting wheel on a grinder. Um, I think we're going to do it about this big. So I'm going to cut that with that. I'll show you guys how I'm going to do this. Kind of give you a little bit of a tutorial, but it's going to be a little bit different for every single person. You could honestly cut this with uh, like bolt cutters. Um, yeah, that would work. Whatever you got, you can make work. So we're going to go ahead, let's get that cut. And then I'm going to cut out a couple other pieces and we'll kind of fi fit it together. And I'm going to actually weld this one together, but you could use metal zip ties, zip ties. I mean, heck you could use tape. It probably just isn't going to last forever. I'm going to go ahead and weld mine because I've got a welder, but if you don't, you could come up with a different way to do this. Let's go ahead and get started. You ready? Okay, let's try it. All right, here we go. Is he the one? Yep. Thanks. 
bud. Okay, so that's gonna go, this I think is gonna be the front side of the feeder, so it's gonna be angled slightly like that. I need one more piece exactly the same size. So if this is straight up and down against the wall or the fence or whatever, and then this comes off the back here, that means we need to cut it yeah. about here. I think that's going to work just perfect. Okay, now we grab this extra piece here. And I think we're gonna go about like that. So it's two squares in. So we'll go ahead. It says Redneck Engineering. Whoa. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, there we go. So this is Redneck Engineering at the best. I'm just kind of rough setting this up. <clears throat> just trying to make it as easy as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. This corner is going to line up with that. So visually mark that. Let's go ahead. We'll just mark this and cut it. Ta-da! Looks a little wonky. But once I get this all welded up here, that goes like that, that goes like that, we're going to have a perfect little feeder there. Just like that, I have got a feeder kit already. Look at that. Collapsible. Maybe I ought to sell these. Gosh dang it, it's too easy. All right, so we're going to go ahead. We're going to kind of, I'm going to weld this all right here since I got the power, the extension cord, you know, all the stuff that I need right here. So here I'm using this titanium welder uh, just from Harbor Freight. I think it's like 120 bucks or something like that with inflation. It's probably like $600 now. I don't know. Uh, but it works pretty good for all this little stuff. Go ahead and turn it on here. When you're welding, you got two wires that come out the front. This is your ground wire. You got to have this connected to your metal that you're welding. And then you've got your, this is MIG welding. So you've got your tip and your uh, wire feed that comes out of here. This is how you do stuff on farms. You just get after it and make it work. And that's exactly what I'm going to do here. I'm going to uh, weld this up. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to tack weld this, which basically just means I'm doing a little weld here and a little weld there. Make sure it all lines up the way we want and then I'll go put some bigger welds in it to finish it off. Woo, that's hot. bending it there we go yo i think this is going to work perfect so i want to come in here i'm going to cut those off with the grinder and then we need to come up with a way to actually hang this so we're going to be hanging it on the pallets inside the barn but you can hang this over fence posts hang it over a, a two by four or two by six whatever you're going to do but you know basically you want to just be able to hook it on there throw your hay in there and let her rip I found this piece of rebar, this is definitely overkill, but I'm thinking what we'll do is I'll cut, 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 
make a bracket and then weld that bracket on to the side, basically like an upside down U that will hook onto here. And then that will be able to hook onto whatever you want to hook it onto for us. We're hooking onto the pallet. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this up. I'll kind of get, show you guys how I'm going to do that and what it's actually going to look like. So here I started using out a circular saw to cut that, but then decided it was easier to grab the chop saw. So I grabbed the metal chop saw, cut all the pieces all at once here. And then you can see, I just welded them all together and basically made a bunch, well, two upside down U's. And then we were able to uh, use those to hook everything together. Just like that, we've got these two brackets. So now what we can do is I think I'm just gonna weld these on just like that. And that will clip on to anything we want it to. That is absolutely perfect. Here we go. Ah, it's off. Weld it on right there. Right there. Well, maybe right there is the best spot. Alrighty folks, well I think that is my version of the simplest DIY hay feeder. Use it for any type of animal you want. I'm excited with how that turned out. I mean to throw it together in like 30 minutes with a bunch of scrap materials, it did not turn out half bad. So if you're going to hang this on an open fence, I would put something on the back so that the feed didn't fall out the back. Because we're putting this up against a wood, basically a wood back, it's going to be covered anyways. Um, so we don't have to worry about that. But let's go ahead, I want to show you guys putting it in, getting it installed, making sure it actually fits and works, and then we'll be able to move on to the next project. Okay, you hold that. Daddy's going to get Zan, okay? <laughs> Daddy's going to bring Zan out here. So, Zan has been a little rough on Maverick lately, not being the nicest go. Oh, that fence is still on. Oh, no, it's off. Okay. Waffles, you can't come out. But Zan, he doesn't leave our property, even if he's not in the fence. So, I want to see if I can get Zan taken out of here. Because me and Maverick are going to put the feeder in. I just don't want Zan in here bothering us. And Domino. And Domino. Oh, and Domino. Okay. Maybe we'll just do this instead. Okay, come here. Can you bring it over here? Um, it's too heavy. It's too heavy. You need to do it? Okay. I'll, we'll both go in there, okay? Do you want to come with me? No. You don't want to come with me? Okay, you go ride your bike. Okay. All the animals, everybody's coming to see what the heck is going on. So, oh man, I hope this is actually going to work. That on there, that on there. Oh my gosh. I couldn't have made that a more perfect fit if I wanted to. Wow. Y'all check that out. Uh, I would say that's an A+. Plus. That is an A+. Plus. Super easy to build. Just that, I mean, that is golden. Golden, golden. So it's low enough that when the babies start eating hay, they can get it. The adults can get it. You know, everything. So we've got our hay in here um, that we can just grab a flake or two and set it in there. Let's go ahead. We'll put a flake or two in there. And uh, I'll show you guys just how it works. You guys just have to keep an eye on me, don't you? All right. Let's go ahead. We're actually going to do this one here. Open that up. Open that up. And. Oh. There we go. Would you look at that? That is absolutely perfect. Come try it out. I promise you'll like it peeking around the door like you don't know what's going on. So I think this is going to work absolutely perfect. If you guys are looking to build a feeder like this, this, I would highly recommend this. I mean, it was super, super easy to do. And I think it's turned out absolutely fabulous. You can see I actually even painted it, had an extra can of black spray paint. So I figured, hey, why not? So hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it.
it uh it went together well so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already go down subscribe follow us along we uh have got a lot more projects coming shortly thank you guys so much for watching we will see y'all on the next video uh babies california cali oh there you are come here little guy What, you do are just gonna lay down back there? Yeah. Everybody says goats love to be in tiny tight places, and they sure do. They're just cuddled up laying in there. Yeah. Come on, Coda. There you go, Coda. Come here. Come here, you two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Nope. Alright, they're out.